Let's mm, let's struck. Once you move past the great SNES games everyone already knows about, the Marios and Zeldas and Metroids and Chrono Triggers, you get to the undiscovered category of games that just weren't all that well known in their time, stuff like Dragon View and Blackthorn and Metal Marines which I looked at last week. After you move past that category, then you get into the oddball hit or miss games that remained undiscovered for a reason. Either they're too niche or they're just plain bad or maybe there's just not much to them. Out to Lunch is like that. This is an 80s style arcade game with as simple of gameplay as you can get. You play as a chef traveling to different countries, recovering recipe ingredients that have escaped from the fridge. Yeah, the food is alive. You catch them by jumping onto the food to stun it, catching it with a net, and then dropping it into this cage thing, all while beating the time limit. That's really all there is to this game, it's just pure platforming. You just jump and jump and jump some more. So how does the game control? It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Since everything is so bare bones here, it's easy to get a feel for the controls, so this is a good game you can just pick up and play and get the hang of very quickly. I will say as kind of a disclaimer, your character is is very slippery. He slides around a lot and doesn't come to a complete stop when you let go of the D-pad. Every platform might as well have ice on it, while the ones that do have ice on them are insanely slippery, so bear that in mind when you play this one. One thing that bothers me about the controls is that you don't get much wiggle room in mid-air. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to Mario games or something, but since the character moves so quickly on the ground, you'd think he'd have a wider range of motion in mid-air, but that's not so. That took a bit of getting used to, but it's certainly not game-breaking or anything, just kind of annoying. The hardest part of this game doesn't have anything to do with catching food or getting the hang of the controls or anything, but the time limit. The further you progress into the game, you have to get more and more efficient with your movement. Any wasted motion in this one will get you penalized. You have three lives here, miss the time limit, and you die, so to speak. Miss the time limit three times and it's game over. The food can stun you too, which costs you some time, and if you're stunned while carrying food, you'll lose it all and you'll have to catch it again. There are enemies here too, and they can also cause a game over, but they can usually be taken care of with just a couple jumps to the head. Also, this other chef shows up to mess with you just to be a dick, I guess. I should also mention that the food is actually trying to get away from you. Once something sees you, it runs away as quickly as it can, so sometimes you have to be careful about how you approach them. You can hide behind other obstacles, for example. There's 48 total levels here, but there's no saves or passwords. That's kind of a bummer since this game would have definitely benefited from at least a password system. There is at least an advanced option you can select, which moves the starting point to much later on in the game. The only other real highlight of this game is the backgrounds. They look really nice. Other than that, there's not much else to say about Out to Lunch. It's okay for what it is, it doesn't try to be anything other than an arcade-style platformer predicated on getting a high score and beating the time limit, and that's fine. I mean, there are a handful of secret rooms you can find, but you don't have to find them to progress with the game. This isn't any kind of super obscure hidden gem of gems or anything like that. It's just a really simple game, and sometimes that's just fine.